what's up guys <sighs> we went on a wonderful wonderful trip to Wakanda <clears throat> So, this past weekend, as you know, my mom, Bunny, and I went to New Jersey to um, visit some family and do some things and get some things done. And while we were there, we went to go see, in theaters, the Black Panther. You know, that little Marvel movie about um, T'Challa who is the Black Panther and the King of Wakanda. That movie? Yeah. That. Um, so this is our no spoiler movie review of Black Panther. Um, this movie was amazing. Um, the storytelling behind the movie, basically what I got from it was this, there's like something that happens in 1992 um, that kind of shows the driving force of the movie but then you come back from that little bit of exposition to the event just after the bombing that killed Tinchella's father to um, just before the event where Black Panther reveals himself in Civil War. Um, Avengers Civil War. Um, where I am pinpointing the plot points for this movie. Um, come in. Um, and that's where it fits in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Um, I'm not going to spoil any of the plot for you. But I just want to say, Michael, um, Andre from Black Nerd Comedy has said that, um, Michael B. Jordan's character is one of those villains that you know he's the bad guy, you know he's evil, but you're like, dang, son, you made a point. So, yeah, you, you watch it and you're like, I know you're the bad guy, I know you evil, I feel for you, but... You make a good point, but you're still a redeemable bad guy. But why you gotta do that to yourself? But basically, that's that's my whole feelings about Michael B. Jordan. Michael B. Jordan's character in in the movie, um, Nyango. No, Lupita Nyango. That's her name. That's her name. Yeah, you pronounced it right. Lupita Nyango. Um, did a good job of with her character. She was awesome. She was amazing. Um, Angela Bassett, brilliant, beautiful, beautiful black woman. I remember when me and my mom watched Stella got a groove back. She was like, "Man, I want to be 40 and have Angela Bassett's body." She watched this movie and said, "Man." I still admire Angela Bassett, and my mom was loving the faux locks that they did on her. Um, it was it was amazing. Um, I don't know what Homegirl's name is. I'm gonna be honest and say I don't know what Homegirl's name is, the one that plays Chinchilla's little sister. But she was amazing too. And there's a scene in there where me and my mom look, watched the movie, and we were like. That's you and your brother. <laughs> it's about me and my older brother. It, it it definitely was one of those, yep, that's us. <laughs> Moments. Um, the CGI did not look like CGI. It was very well done. Um, there are some movies that should go back and, you know, should, but the movie maker should be taking notes go back and say, okay, we have to get them to do our CGI because the CGI in this movie was boo. Um, like, I don't know, maybe the standalone Catwoman film that starred Halle Berry and those very unhuman and even uncat-like moves that the CGI team made her body do that was just 
No. <laughs> um, a lot of the action scenes in this movie, you, mean, you know, typical action scenes for a movie, but then you're like, oh, that's hot. <laughs> um, that was a pretty good twist on that particular type of action move that was amazing. Um, I'm trying not to spoil this movie. Oh my god, it's so good. You guys gotta go see it. Um, I love what the costuming department did with the paying homage to different African tribes with the wardrobe choices for the people of Wakanda. That, that alone made this worth seeing. And as an African American, it filled me with a little bit of pride of being African American, knowing that my family was, is descendant of slaves that came over way, way, way back in the day. Um, I love how they paid homage to the ancestors and called upon the ancestors. Um, that definitely played something special in my heart. Um, I also, I also have to say that, um, it was very heartwarming. My, my mom kind of sat up with some African pride. She was like, yeah, I'm liking this movie. Now, I really don't want to say anything bad about the movie, but I kind of have to. <laughs> um, some places the pacing was, wait, how did we go from this to this? That was too quick of a transition or that transition was too slow. You think that something is supposed to happen at this moment, but then it takes forever to get there or it just doesn't get there. There are some scenes where you're like, okay, that could have gone in a completely different direction. It should have gone in a completely different direction than it did. Um, and uh, that is really the only real complaint about the movie is the pacing um i really wish that the ending was um a little bit different because of the fight michael b jordan's character was having okay sorry guys the camera went off while i was doing my review but let's finish up um I really, really did enjoy Black Panther. It was one of those movies that make you want to see it over and over again and the hit and the basic overall message that this movie has that if you actually watch a lot of movies in the MCB, MCU, um, they have, um, they have messages, they have certain messages that they want to convey to their audience. Um, in Civil War, the message was akin to um, not everything that is right is going to be popular. Not everything that is popular is going to be right. Um, another one um, is an Iron Man. Um, Sometimes you have to take responsibility for the things that you create because if you let someone else take that responsibility, they could abuse um, and use what you create for intentions that are pretty much less than honorable. Like when uh, Tony Stark discovered that his technology was being used um, in war efforts to kill the maximum amount of people possible. Um, but in Black Panther, the message is there. It's clear. It's a message that, um, 
those of us who live in America um, probably should really listen to, probably really should take to heart that um, it's one that when you hear it, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, it's a message that at this time is definitely one that needs to be said and the best way to say it was through the MCU. Um, that being said, my lovely little rating scale right here, boop, I'm going to give the Black Panther a 5 out of 5. Um, for visual effects, for storytelling, for the characters, the costume, um, I am not saying that I'm doing this because I'm an African American and I enjoyed the fact that it was a majority African American cast. I'm definitely not saying that. I'm saying this because it's just a good movie. It was well done, well crafted, wonderful cinematography, wonderful script writing, wonderful acting, wonderful casting, just everything was beautiful in this movie. Um, for more reasons than just the fact that I'm African American and I enjoyed a movie um, that paid homage to um, tribes from way back when and even now. Um, don't get me wrong, I do believe that, that um, the acting and the casting was wonderful and amazing. Um, I just want to be sure that it's clear that I'm not trying to be biased in any way, shape, or form possible. I'm just giving the honest truth about how I feel about this movie. So, will you, have you guys seen Black Panther? Have you guys been to Wakanda? Have you guys, um... Did you guys like it? Are you guys going to go see it? Are you guys waiting for the hype to die down? Are you guys going to go for it on the DVD release? What are your thoughts? What are your feelings about this movie? Let me know in the comments below. Um, I hope to see you guys soon. I cannot wait for Avengers Infinity War. That's next on my list of what to watch. And I will see you guys next movie review. Remember... Be kind, be brave, be awesome. Go to the movies, love each other, doki doki. Go spread that doki doki. Mwah. Love you guys. Are the music makers, and we are the dreamers of dreams. Mm -hmm.